Welcome back to the channel. This is the second video in our Fundamentals of Medical Chemistry data visualization topic. Over the past several videos, we've looked at t-test, ANOVA, data visualization using a parallel coordinate plot, and now I want to show you how we can adapt the parallel coordinate plot into a simpler variant by converting numerical data into categorical data and rendering a new plot. The data in this video is from soil testing from two different farms. I'll leave a link in the description to the original data set. However, in this video, I want to show how we can adapt this parallel coordinate plot into a simpler version by converting this numerical data into categorical data. Let's get started. So here, let's create a new data frame called catdf. And that would just be an empty data frame. We would just set that equal to the empty data frame constructor. And you can check this out and see that we have an empty data frame. Next, let's go about converting this numerical data here into categorical data. To do that, we're going to use a method called pd.qcut. And if you look in here, it takes an argument x, which would be the numerical data. It takes in q, which would be the quantize we want to cut the data into. And then we can optionally pass in labels, which will assign new labels to those categories. So in this case, we have our data frame. And if we look at the clay column and check this data out, and if we set x equal to vizdf clay, and we set q equal to 0 0.33, 0 0.66, and 1, we will get various categories as a function of these various quantiles. Now we can pass in labels that we can set equal to low, medium, and high, and now have new labels for this data. The output of this are categories, so it knows that low is less than medium, which is less than high. So this sort of preserves the data, but in a much lower resolution, and thus will allow us to produce simpler data visualization outputs. So now let's take this idea and apply it to the entire data frame. To do this, we can write a simple for loop where we will say, we will say call for viz df.columns and we don't want the first column so we're just going to start with the second one that's because the first column will be this field id and we don't want to cut that and this will allow us to go from the second column to the end next we'll assign new columns which would be the call to our data frame our new data frame called catdf and we will set that equal to pd.cut so you see how we can take this idea from a single example and apply this in a for loop. And instead of passing in clay, we will just pass in the column. We'll keep our quantiles. We'll apply our label categories and make our new data frame. If we run this, oops, <laughs> for call in, um, if you run this, you see that we now have our data frame that's been simplified tremendously. The only thing missing is our label. And so we can either apply it to this data frame or just apply it to the visualization. It doesn't matter. So I'll, I'll show you how we can just add this in the visualization because we, we already have it in this data frame here. And so this would just be another way to show you how we can apply new components. So next we run px.parallelcoordinate, I'm sorry, parallel categories. And it takes in similar arguments, data frame which we equal cat df. And let's pass in our color argument, which would be vizdf.field, I believe. Let's check field, yes. And so here we have a much simpler output where we have our color, which would be field one and field two. And you can see really easily where these split. And so in field two, we have lower variables across the board. And if you look at the parallel coordinate plot, we see a similar trend where, and if you look at field two, we have lower values across most of the variables here. This here is just much simpler to look at, and we could have been more precise with our cuts, but this allows you to see how we can simplify the visualization by simplifying the data. However, we're still able to preserve the underlying pattern, at least in this case, and could be one way to show complicated data in a simpler format. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.